Hello, people. Yes, I'm back, and yes, I'm sweaty, and yes, I'm wearing a little mini shirt because I'm sweaty. Just be happy I'm covered, okay? Yes, I'm covered. Because it is hot. I have got the fan overhead going. I've got a little bitty fan hanging off the front of the computer. I've got my no sweat stuff all over my face. Now, the only new thing that I am working with today, and that's because my favorite um, foundation, it got to be about four, maybe five years old. So, and it was starting to smell a little funny. So, out, out. So I picked up the Elf Soft Glam because I figured if I got to replace my foundation, I'll try it. Anyway. I'm trying some new lighting, and so far so good. We'll see how it works. I've got the door shut so the doggies can't come busting in, and neither can the kitties. I know, I like the kitties, but hey. I'm still working on this thing of not looking at the monitor instead of the camera. Sorry, guys. Anyway, yes, once again, I'm going to talk about my books. These are my books. Point of Entanglement is a kind of a fantasy romance with, with, with elves and a little science thrown in just for the heck of it. Elves, humans, time travel, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Shifting Views. It's a collection of shifter theme poems and short stories. Like shifters? <laughs> I got them. Now, these are currently what's available. You can get them multiple different outlets. I put them up on a couple of different printers, so they're, they're a couple of different outlets, um, including ebooks, in case you just don't want to pick up the big book. If you do pick up one of the big books, either the hardback or the softback, and you let me know, I'll send you a signed book plate. How's that? Yeah, I know, I don't give. I am nobody's big deal when it comes to being an author. That's okay. Being an author, being published, even if I had to do it myself. I'm 65. I don't have time to wait for all of the usual hoop do that goes on with trying to get an agent and then the agent trying to get a publisher and it's like, not so much, you know? It just, not so much. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have a little time to enjoy it, but, you know, there you go. Oh. Now, I have got my anti-sweat stuff on my face. I will not guarantee that I'm not going to sweat and make all the makeup run. This 
is my hair. And if you can see, there's a lot of scalp showing in there. There's a reason I keep it cut so short, and that's because it's harder to tell. It's like cut it short, comb it to the side, and feel like it. I'm going to put a little bit of this primer on in the places where I need it most, which is mostly because my glasses slip if I don't. Yeah, it's like with the new medication I'm on, I'm getting a lot of body size changes. And it's causing a bit of annoyance. Definitely annoyance. I had to put my regular wedding set away and get this little bitty thing a full size and a half smaller so that it wouldn't go whenever I move my hands. Okay, primer is on. Got the goop. Shake it around a little bit. Get me a brush. And if you're wondering about this top, it's a swimsuit top. such a pain in the rear picking this stuff up where there aren't any samples out. It makes it that much more difficult to tell if you've got the right shade. So far this doesn't look too bad for summer. No, I don't get a lot of sun on my face. I just don't. It's one of the problems with having a UV reactive autoimmune issue. You just don't go out in the sun much without being completely slathered. It's like my face. I put all kinds of sunscreen on. The rest of my body, if I'm going out without being covered, covered, I've got some level 90 that I spray on. Now, you'll have to tell me what you think of the lighting. I'm trying to make sure I've got my good camera on. Have I got my good camera on? I can't tell. Okay, yes, the good camera is the one that's on. The one on the little laptop that I use is really kind of not so happy. It's just a little 
whimpery thing. And yeah, I'm still gonna look right shiny for now. I will probably powder this down a bit before I go on to the next little bit here. I don't ever make up my mind if I'm going to do the eyes first or if I'm going to do the foundation first. I don't know, it just seems to, whatever I pick up is the one I go with first. Then again, Y'all know that kind of stuff. If you've been hanging around here for any length of time. If you've been hanging around here for any length of time. Thank you. We keep losing some of the small influencers. Because YouTube's getting weird. It really is. Debutante has had a weirdness. And she's moving most of her stuff to her Patreon instead of trying to argue the point with YouTube. And I really can't blame her. I really can't. There's just too much BS going on with what they did to her channel. Over something where she followed the rules. If you want to know what went on, I suggest you go check out Debuton yourself. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description. But it's really, really, really weird. If you do a remix on something, Make sure you dot every I, cross every T, and for the most part, I wouldn't do it. Because their rules on this stuff seem to change at whim. And that's what got her, was a remix. And she did all the things. She hit the remix button. She tagged the original. And then bopped her anyway. Any of you like fantasy romance? Give me a clue. Give me a hint. Because I'm working on the next one. Not working very fast, but I'm working on the next one. Get my eyebrow. 
valves on there. Get a little pallet out and see what kind of a mess I can make. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but then that's pretty standard. I never really know what I'm going to do. And I kind of think it's fun. Just kind of. Okay, little palette. Let's see if we can get you to come up with some pigment here. It's a little ex inexpensive palette that I picked up just because it was pretty. I think I got it at five below. But pigment does not appear to be its strong suit. It's getting a little better as I get a little more done coming up. I'm not really scraping or digging, but I am kind of being the least bit forceful with the shade. It's not a bad shade, it's just a stubborn shade. the whole thing is not going to need to be babied along. It's the risk you take when you get something inexpensive that's pretty, but Then you have the problem where it may be pretty, but it also may be pretty annoying. Give that a little clean off. That's I've seen worse. <laughs> Definitely seen worse. Take a little bit of this cream shade and kind of because I've got I've got shadow base all the way up to my eyebrow. So I'm going to take this and kind of ease that up just a little so that the shadow base isn't feeling lonely. this up just a tad in the corners. Now, just 
just remember, if you've got hooded eyes, it's an outer seven, not an outer V. That's one of the problems with this mirror. It likes to shut itself off right in the middle of things. Even when it's plugged in, it wants to shut itself off when it wants to shut itself off. Which then puts my silly face in more shadow than it needs. Seymour's. Okay. Let's see what I'm going to play with next. I got pinks. I got golds. Got a few greens. Let's start here. Red, 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 red. Red, 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 red. Let's see if it's going to work. Use the finger. We'll see. Actually, that's not doing too bad, considering. Yes, I drag it up past the edge of the crease because otherwise when my eyes are wide open you won't see any of it. Which is just not fair. Probably put some more of the brown back up there so I don't lose it completely. what I don't want to do is lose it completely because that takes away some of the dimension. Kind of scary, huh?
pardon me while I dab just a bit. Even with the no sweat stuff on, I don't seem to be able to keep, I'm going to have to start doing this at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's just all there is to it. carry a little bit of that under yes I'm looking schwitzy Sorry about that, Chief. Me and liquid liners are really starting to have a real problem because of my shaky little mitts. No, it's not showing up a lot. Not 
not showing up a lot, but that's okay. That does not bother me. under the lower lashes just because I can and I may put a little of that along the eyelash just because I can See if that helps out that plain brown a little. Probably not. Yep, two o'clock in the morning. All right, I'm gonna put you on pause for a second. Cause some people just do not like people, like watching people doing tight lines and water lines. I shall return like it or not. Okay. Yes, I'm back. I went ahead and put on some brown mascara while I was at it. And no, I'm not going to actually spray this with setting spray because, let's be real, in this heat it's going to melt off. I'm probably just going to go take myself in and wash my face and do some reparative skin conditioning and apologize to my poor face for putting it through this in this heat. I'll learn not soon. Now, when I first got up out of my chair after doing business, it was not that, that bad in here. But then, the sun moved over to the other side of the house. My office is on the other side of the house from where everything else is. So now the side with the kitchen is starting to cool down, thank goodness. But this side is becoming 
a little bit rough to deal with. That's what happens when your bronzer gets a little damp from some sweat. It decides it's going to get all kinds of bright on you. Still don't look too bad. Ow. I pinched myself with my little compact. Ow. Now, here we go again with the, I'm not going any lower than that on the blusher because, like I said, the apples of my cheeks are not where they used to be. So, if I just kind of give a hint of a blush, that's fine with me. I don't need to put blush all the way down here. Feels kind of silly to do it, considering. This feels silly too, because it's going to just get wet and stick. <laughs> Wet and stick. Still don't look too bad. Ow. Do a little highlighter. Put a lip on and call it good. At least for today. Because y'all know by now, one of my main things that I'm doing is trying to chill my books more than anything else and tr still trying to convince little old people of any make modeler description that they can wear whatever they want to for makeup and if anything I'm doing helps anybody with trying to figure out how to do it, more the better. Now, I'm not putting lip pencil on. Not today. Don't feel like it. This is one of the liquid lips that's more of a stain than a oil or anything like that. I like it. It looks good. It lasts. It holds up. Anyway, that's what we got today. 
that's what we've got today and my books. Dare ya. Anyhow, I think I've nattered on long enough. I'm short of an hour this time. Anyway, maybe next time I'll be bothered to stand up. Finished face. I may actually start reading some of my bits and pieces of the books. I did that on Storyteller's Corner that really didn't get very far on the YouTube, so I may just combine everything on here. Anyway. behave. I still absolutely do not have bail money. None. I couldn't even bail myself out, which is a scary thought. Be good to everyone, including yourself. Be kind.